Okay, before I start, uh, let me shut this off. So, I've been thinking recently, I think I need to move on to other games. I'm not quitting Open Hexagon, per se. I want other content on this channel. I know um, ever since I got this computer back, all I've been doing was Open Hexagon catch up. And I've done quite a good job at it. You know, I've gotten a bunch of nice scores. Completed the Fade in 25 X 1.01 challenge. Still waiting for the X 1.02s, by the way. But besides that, I'm kind of in a rut at the moment. I've been back and forth between sequence and unknown force world records for over a week. But I took a break from that to develop my open hexagon pack, uh, Fun Creations. And, you know, I spent a lot of my time last week just developing. And I already have a finalized version and gave Maniac to test that. And he's given me suggestions on, like, what he personally thinks and such. And I still haven't done any of the fixes yet that he's, well, any of the complaints and any game-breaking issues that can cause problems for lower NPCs. Like, those were the more primar primary problems to the game, this pack itself. But overall, like, all the levels are playable. They are playable. You can get quite the records on them. But, you know, I spent a lot of my time trying to do a few levels. And going back and forth between issue after issue, you know, trying to make records off on the side, trying to casually do stuff that I like and overall try to try other levels try to see if I can fucking try hard on those it's draining I'm at the point where I just can't take it I mean I've been trying Hexadorsip 1 like I only tried it earlier and Trying to do rubber, rubber est, and rubber bonus. Yeah, um, piss on that. I've tried to get records in a short amount of time. Because these levels are fucking easy. Like, getting to 150 and rubber bonus should be no issue. Even getting to 175 shouldn't even be a fucking issue at this point. But it still fucking is. Because there's always some stupid shit that I always fucking do by some miracle. Mainly it's on the inverses, even though, like, you're supposed to play perfectly on them. And I've been trying to play perfect, but apparently I'm either fucking too late or too early. I can never find a fucking center to it. Rubber S, I only played once, almost got to 200, but didn't fucking bother playing any more of it. And Rubber, I tried getting to 175, and I'm fucking dying to even more dumb shit. So, you know, I've kind of sick and tired of it. Like, I've tried other levels. I mean, I even tried to see if I could try Mastication, see what kind of fucking score I get, and I can't fucking stand it. Same with Rubber. Or, or no, not rubber, uh, our 7B Burr. What a fucking name, Alpha. Or, well, actually, it's not Alpha's fault. This is, this is, this is Hexadorsip's doing. Or Hackadors IP. Let's, let's just get that out of the way. But yeah, this I can't fucking stand. Because of this 
wonky ass fucking pattern that fucking shows up that looks like a bunch of broken wall segments as if the pattern wasn't even fucking meant to be a pattern. And the thing is, that same pattern was perfect in Hexagon. And right there, that single wall and then the two wall, that was the fucking pattern right there. But, you know, besides all that, you know, there's all these fucking pulse-ass heavy levels. Same with, like, fucking Exquasion to an extent. So, you know, I, I'm just sick of it. I'm tired. I don't want to do as much of this anymore. I will still continue developing my open hexagon pack, yes, but I can't do it anymore. Trying to constantly grind a record, whether it be easy or hard, is already enough for me. Like, I'll still play it daily most of the time, but other times, I just don't bother. I just play other shit. Because I've been trying to want to branch out to other stuff. Now, I know I'm not only limited to open hexagon content at this point, but, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm obligated to do that. I'm the only one left that's even around in this community that's even making any fucking effort to show something. And you know, I fucking cared about this shit. Over two years. I'm like almost two and a half years in. And, you know, there was so much. <sighs> I've been through a lot of shit, yes. I've been through many computers with this game, yes. But, you know, this is the highest point for me. I've never exceeded to the limits that I have. But it's too fucking late anyways, because everyone's fucking left. I know everyone else is still watching, but what's even the point? Like, it even hurts me trying to speak about it. Because this is something I cared about. This was my passion. And I drove myself into the ground many years. And this was the one thing that I always enjoyed. Despite all the shit I've done to myself. It hurts, man. What once was a great community, and now here I am, all left alone. There are still others in the Discord community still playing from time to time, but nothing too major. It's just either newbies or people who've been around for a long time but never really played the game as serious as I did, or Maniac, or anybody else. Who's made it to the Elite title. Or even close to it. I've always enjoyed this game. Always have, always will. I don't want to quit it, but... It gets hard trying to keep this shit up. And perform... At the limits that I'm trying to. Because all my drive right now is because of Cammy. If it wasn't for Cammy, I probably wouldn't even be open hexagon crazy as much now. But I'd still play the game anyways because it's something I loved. And everyone basically left. I'm basically holding the spotlight. But, you know, sometimes... It's not always the best. Especially when... Especially when it seems like I perform more than what the old community was like. 
I mean, if they at least came back, gave a chance, try to rebuild themselves back up to where they was, and even better, we would have seen a lot more of a competitive side to this community. And not just a small pocket. Because, you know, one day we'll all never be around to see this game again. We'll all eventually forget about it at one point. But I don't want to. I know certain members of the elite community like Alpha and Boshi were more afraid of being forgotten from what Maniac has told me. But, you know, at the end of the day, you never really are forgotten. Because all your stuff is still there. Everything you've done, the achievements, everything. People can still look up to that and make that as a goal. Make that as their journey. And that was mine. But also, getting to the elite title was something I also wanted. And, you know, I'm at that point where I could be. I could be. But that's no longer. Because not only has the requirements to the elite has changed drastically because of what Kami and Inus have done, but overall the skill has just been fucked. Ever since Fade Out had came out, everything shifted by that point. Everything drastically changed. And when Kami hacked and BDWS's BB came, that caused a huge disturbance in skill. And it completely fucking changed everything. And with Kami's whole grind spree, it really fucking took a toll on everybody. And, you know, I'm always appreciative that, you know, there are some very old Overdex Gun community members that still watch me. Or even watch me. Which is surprising. Like, Rabbit Devil. I never knew Rabbit Devil was still watching to this day. You know, she uploaded Open Hexagon like over four or five years ago. And then never played the game again. But, you know, on my videos, I'm seeing he's commenting. He even commented on Maniac's Imaginative Leftovers pack video. I mean, it's a shock, but it also feels good to know that, you know, they're s still around. But it hurts more when you're the last one standing. Like, is it even worth so many hours to get scores in any of these levels? And still have a big falling left. By some miracle of some big popular individual were to come to this game. And actually encourage people to play it. Maybe we could see a growth in the community again. But those chances are way too slim. And fortunately, I don't know when it will come back. Mike Stenth used to say, the old generation is leaving, a new generation's coming in. But when you think about that statement now, it doesn't feel right anymore. Because now, both generations are kind of in the same spot. But yet you still have that small minority that still remains. That still want to see this game. That still play it. Want to enjoy something that is really fun, exciting, 
and really just shows a testament to our own selves compared to everyone else. But sometimes it's not about what's worth in getting the score. Sometimes overall it's if it's worth even doing anything. Because of how low this community is now. Like, the only person, the only elite player that still plays Ovid Hexagon from time to time is Maniac. But even he recently is focusing on other stuff. But yet, here I am, still playing it every single day like I used to. Just like in the beginning. And yes, I have changed a lot through this. I mean, looking at my first Open Hexagon video compared to now, with the more recent ones, you can definitely tell times have changed. And the improvement shows. But, you know, I wish there was just more than me competing for this spot. Of who could try to outclass everyone. Besides the current individuals that have. It just doesn't feel the same. And that's why I want to try other stuff. You know, at least build up more of a falling on other games but also still have open hexagon around because you know one day i never know if i'll quit and never see the light of day again until i'm told about it but i don't want to i've worked hard to get to where i was And it just, it doesn't feel right personally to stop now after all the progress I made. Like, all the friends I had on Discord and such, like, they were really impressed with the work that I was able to put in. And just overall, just the intensity of the gameplay compared to how I can manage. It definitely it definitely impressed them. And, you know, I didn't I never really wanted to try and show off so much as I used to. But you know, I just try my best to get a score that's worthy of, oh, it's a good score, and not some meh, because everybody just feels fucking indifferent with scores in the same score range. But, you know, I always think back to just how I first found Open Hexagon and think what would have happened if I was to have been able to play the game two years sooner when I had discovered it the first time you know like how would things be different now I'd probably have a lot more skill probably have a lot better scores and a lot more scores on levels than what they used to be. But. You know. It's too late for that. And now. All that remains is. A small community. And one. Senior in high school. 
trying to fucking keep the game going as much as you can. Just to keep just to keep life in it. To show that there's still somebody around that cares. That dedicates their time putting something in worth great to show. But it's more sad knowing that I probably won't see mo most of the community ever again. Even if some members didn't get a good impression of me during my time and during their time when they still played. A lot's been changed. But sometimes I feel like it's been too much. I'll miss everything. <laughs>